Hello guys, I'm Sir Fancy and these are blueprints you should know well. Today it will be a very quick video because I will talk only about flip-flop node. Well, basically what it does once flow of our blueprint will go into it, it will go either A or B. For the first time it will go A and then it will go B, again, again A, again B, blah, 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 you know the rest. So let's try to do something with it. Well, first of all, let's put on our uh, event back in play. We want to go there for the first time. And let's say that I want to change color of my dear friend lamp that I use for all these videos. So set material and I want to set it to a red color on A and then I want to do the same thing on B but with different color of course. I want to do green this time around. So after that will happen I want to put here short delay. Let's say one second. You can connect both of them to that and do it all again. So we have here this nice circle so every second it will change color. Alright, and you can see that it looks like a bit of a Christmas tree, which is kind of nice. It switches between A and B flow. But let's say that you also want to, once it will be on A, you want to do something. You want to spawn here explosion, because everyone loves explosion, let's be real. So for that we have here this is a condition. And let's do event tick. Put here branch. And as condition let's connect here our S. A is A, you can of course create a variable and transfer it, blah blah blah. Uh, but that's not important right now. And I want to just to test it, print string, hello on true and not don't do anything on false. Alright, let's click on play and seems fine. So let's make sure that we reset it. So, so just to quickly explain what I did here. After it will go on road B, it will of course change the material and then before it will go to the delay, it will reset our do once node that we have under event tick. Because we don't want that hello to be spawned so, so many times, we want it only once a second after it will go to this A road. So let's see if it works. Hello. Hello. And that a hello is there constantly because we don't have it enough time to disappear. So let's see. If we can do something about that, set it to 0.1 seconds, so it will only blink. And yes, you can see that it works just fine. So as I promised, let's spawn here a explosion. So add arrow to the blueprint. Let's say that we want to spawn it somewhere there. Pa uh, create particle. So we want to, to, to spawn emitter at location. That location will be here. So from that arrow get wallet location and of course emitter will be explosion because everyone loves explosion as I said. I know I'm repeating myself, don't worry about that. And to have it really seen properly let's increase this delay to about 3 seconds. Alright, let's try it now. And now it started on red, exploded, it will switch to green, which reset it our do once node. And now back in red, we can see explosion. So that's how you would use that this A condition. Well, well, that's about it. I promise that this one will be quick. So that's it. That's it. As I said, well, Sir Fancy out. <laughs>